Whether you are a seasoned thrifter or you're just thrift curious, there's a few things you should watch out for when you're thrift shopping so that you can find some great finds, but also not come home with things that you might regret buying later on. So in this video, we're gonna go through some of the do's and don'ts when it comes to thrift shopping for clothes so that you can build your wardrobe on a budget, but also have just an enjoyable experience at the thrift store. So here we go. Do grab a cart. In a thrift store, you don't get the luxury of having different sizes of clothing for each item. So you just have to end up trying on a lot of different things. You're gonna have an arm full of clothes that you wanna try on that gets quite heavy. And then your other arm is gonna be way up in the sky like this because they hang everything double racked. So you have all the stuff hanging up here. So this arm's getting tired from the clothes and this one is tired from being up in the sky and your arms are just feel like they're gonna fall off. So do yourself a favor, put all those clothes in the cart and just push it around. And then you can use both arms to sift through the stuff do plan on spending some time at the thrift store. The first time I kind of figured this out, I had gone to a thrift store with my sister. She got herself a cart and we just started at one end of the shirts and she just literally went through every single shirt. And I'm looking at her thinking, we're gonna be here all day. And we were there for quite some time, but I actually found some items doing this process. Spend some time there. Pack yourself a lunch, get a coffee, clear out your schedule for the rest of the day. You can't just speed in and speed out and expect to find a whole bunch of great finds. Don't buy something just because it's cheap. Just like when you're in a normal store or you're shopping online and something is just less expensive than what you think the value of that item would be, it's really tempting to buy it because you feel like you're getting some sort of great deal. When I was at the thrift store this morning, I found this pair of boots. It was a wedge boot by the brand Unisa or whatever. And I was tempted to buy them because they were only nine or $10. And so I carried them around in my cart for a while because I just thought this is a great deal on these shoes, but I really don't need another pair of boots. They were also the wrong size. They were a nine and I wear an eight. So too many strikes against them, but I was still very tempted to buy them, but I didn't. And I'm glad that I didn't buy them because I don't need them. If you don't think you're really gonna like the item and wear it, you shouldn't buy it whether it's cheap or not. Do buy items for special events, trips, or kind of one-off experiences. These are great items to find at the thrift store. Things you know you're only gonna wear maybe a few times, and you know that going into the purchase, so you don't feel bad when you only wear it a couple times, and then you just donate it back to the thrift store. It's like rent the runway. <laughs> except it's like rent the Goodwill. Don't buy the new items at Goodwill. I'm not talking about items that still have the tags on them. I'm talking about items that I think Goodwill purchases new and then sells new, but a lot of times you can get these items just as inexpensively, but you just have more options somewhere else. For instance, when I was at the thrift store this morning, I saw these blankets on an end display and they were, I think, Valentine's blankets. $15 for these blankets. You can buy blankets anywhere and have lots of different options. You could even buy the used blankets and just wash them up and they're probably fine. Do look at all the sizes if you have the time. If you are a medium person and you find yourself going through all of the medium clothes, if you're really in it for this all day experience, go through the smalls and the larges and even the extra larges because a lot of times these sizes in different brands obviously have different shapes to them and different sizes. And sometimes you can find things in a different size, but it actually is just sized all weird and it fits you just fine. So depending on the size of the store and how much time you actually wanna spend doing this, I mean, I would suggest just starting at the beginning of the long sleeve shirt rack and just go all the way to the end because you never know what you're gonna find. Don't be fooled by brand name items not in good shape. Some thrift stores will find these branded items, say like Lululemon or Athleta, and put them in a special section called such and such boutique. And sometimes these can be really old, ratty, just used and worn out styles and the prices are outrageous for something that isn't even in good shape to begin with, but it has the right branded tag. It is really fun to find these branded items amongst the general civilian clothes, but usually that's because you find it and it's in good shape and it's not priced way above what it actually should be priced at. It seems like these thrift stores are competing with the online Poshmark thread up kind of websites, but I have just found in my experience 
experience that they're not always paying attention to the quality of those items when they put them in their little special boutique. Do buy shoes at thrift stores. If you can get over the grossness of putting your foot in someone else's used shoe, then this is a great way to buy shoes, especially shoes that maybe you only plan on wearing once for an event or shoes that you're not sure whether you actually are gonna wear them or not. I probably at one point thought this was kind of gross, but I've gotten over it, like way over it. My standards have gone down. I'm totally fine with wearing someone's old shoes. Generally, I'll try and find shoes that are not like super gross and worn out. You know, you want it to be in fairly good shape. Like those boots I saw this morning that I put back. If someone's a nine and they live near me, go get them because they're in really good shape. I don't even think they were worn at all. If you are a thrifter and you love thrifting, hit the like button. And if you're not a thrifter, but you're enjoying this video anyway, hit the like button too. Thank you for doing that if you do. Don't buy things without trying them on if it's something you feel like you really need to try on. The closest thrift store to us is Goodwill and they took away all of the dressing rooms for whatever reasons they have, fine I guess. It has just really limited the amount of clothes that I would buy there because if I can't try on a pair of jeans, I'm not gonna buy the jeans. And they do have an exchange policy, but I'm not there all the time, so I just would rather not buy them there. And they have so many jeans so many jeans, but no one's buying the jeans because you can't try them on. Maybe if you put some biker shorts on and you just kind of snuck behind a rack. Sometimes I'll do that with shirts or something, but jeans just feels a little weird. One time my friend and I actually got in trouble for trying on dresses. I mean, as in trouble as two middle-aged moms can get, but they asked us to stop doing that. We had clothes on. We were just trying on dresses over our clothes. I actually broke my rule this morning. I bought this dress. I just thought it was so pretty. It's by the brand 41 Hawthorne, which I don't even know what brand that is. It was $11 and I took a huge risk because I was not able to try it on, but I thought it was quite lovely. So I did buy it and maybe I'll try it on in a second here and we can see if it actually is going to fit me or not. See, sometimes I need to hear my own tips too. So now let's try this dress on and see if it was a good purchase or a bad purchase. So here's the dress. I think this was a good purchase. I kind of had an idea that it would fit because it just looked like it would fit, but also because it has a tie in the middle, the center is pretty big and then it just ties to whatever shape you have. We're going to Florida this spring, so I'll probably bring it to Florida. So it was a good buy, so I lucked out. Do buy trending items at the thrift store. If there's some trendy thing that's out there and you're not really quite sure and you can find something like that at the thrift store and bring it into your closet and if you wear it, you wear it, and if you don't, you don't, or maybe you end up loving it and then you go and buy something new in that trend, it's just a great place to kind of try out trends. Do buy out of season items if they're available and if you can wrap your mind around buying out of season items out of season. This morning when I was at the thrift store, they had all these swimsuits out. Sometimes you can find those with the tag still on them or the swimsuit section also has cover-ups and things that aren't necessarily a swimming suit. It seems out of season because it's nine degrees outside, but sometimes those items are just not as picked over when you buy them out of season. If you are someone who likes finding quality items for low prices, I think you'll enjoy this video I will link here where I reviewed a whole bunch of $20 sweatshirts shirts from Amazon. This super cozy sweatshirt that I'm wearing right now is actually reviewed in that video. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to have you subscribe and come back and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.